Uh, let's talk about, oh, there was a fan made list. I don't know if anybody saw this, but there was a fan made list, uh, that included 30 wrestlers as competitors in the upcoming WWE Royal Rumble match. Uh, it actually went viral on social media. People's names like Jay White, CM Punk, uh, they were all on the list and a fan shared the photo to Matt Cardona who took notice. Cardona said that they should have classified him as the 13th participant because he placed 13th on this year's PWI 500. Y'all know how I feel about that. I mean, that list is complete bullshit, but obviously I saw I saw different news reportings on this, but I did see a couple of news outlets that reported that Matt Cardona was upset about seeing this list and where he was placed. Obviously, Matt Cardona is making light of this situation. When I saw his tweet and I saw all the news sites saying that he was duped, like whatever. I don't, I think he knew, I knew immediately when I saw that, that this was complete bullshit, this list. But I think it's worth talking about because it's, it's funny. We're in that, that time of the year where these things start happening, right? <clears throat> we get these fan made Royal rumble lists that start to set the internet on fire and people report on them and they start using them as, as like ideas to guess who's going to win. But when I looked at it, like seeing CM Punk being taken out by Brock Lesnar on that list, I go, all right, don't think that's happening. Seeing Jay white on there. I don't, I don't know that this is the Royal rumble that you bring in Jay white. Now, Outside of that, looking at, at this, this fan-made list, there was some real work put into this list because a lot of it did actually make sense, like Cody eliminating Seth Rollins and things like that. So someone someone actually sat down and took the time to put this together. But it's, it's I mean, you have to be careful. It's hard. Uh, I remember during, the, uh, during Crown Jewel, there was a fake press release that came out that said, you know, Crown Jewel had been canceled. This is why, for the protection of the wrestlers. So it's... It, it, it's interesting in the time that we live in, it's so easy to fake this shit that, that, I mean, this is going to continue to happen and we have to sift through. I mean, what if, here's the funny thing. This is the funny thing that sometimes I like to think about. Like, what if this was a real list and it got leaked somehow? And then WWE just goes like, no, nah, blame it on some kid. What if like we find out that was at some point in time, that was le legitimately what WWE internally was talking about. Like CM Punk coming back, Jay White, uh, Cody Rhodes winning the Royal Rumble, and then it all gets spoiled and it all gets changed because of this. It's tough to avoid spoilers on the internet, especially with like the way dirt sheets and news sites are kind of intertwined these days. It's hard to decipher what is just news and what is just speculation. And it's it's a it's a fun game that you have to kind of balance. And that's why I like this show because I, what I try to do for you guys is I try to curate it as much as possible and not bring in a ton of like bullshit dirt sheet speculation more comments on it as like, if I think it's true or if I, if I think it's not true, but the Royal rumble this year is actually, I think going to be a good one. I know they've, they've, they've toyed with the idea of raising the number of people, lowering the number of people. I it's good the way it is. Everybody is sold right now on Cody Rhodes winning the Royal rumble. I'm not so sure about that. Cause I don't know, like if Cody Rhodes wins the Royal rumble, once again, we get into a real convoluted position of like, does that lead him on a path to Roman Reigns? Or are they really just all in on this idea that the United States Championship is a legitimate title and he goes after Seth Rollins and we do that again? I don't, I don't know. I'm not sold on the idea of doing Seth Rollins versus Cody Rhodes again at WrestleMania. I'm not sold on that idea. I think there's other ways to go. I think that feels a little anticlimactic for a guy who came back and made a splash. If I just had to make the way too early predictions for Royal Rumble, this is and this is going to be boring because like these are pretty safe picks. I think the men, <clears throat> I think the Rock wins. I think that's when the Rock comes back. I think he wins the Royal Rumble and and he challenges Roman Reigns and I think that Becky Lynch probably wins the women's. I think that's a safe bet with all like all all rumors pointing to the fact that Becky Lynch is going to fight against uh, Ronda Rousey. I think that that makes sense and that works.